knows that she has to respect Italy. They're in good condition, she said. They're learning and evolving. But they have to respect Italy this morning. That's, but they have to respect Italy this morning. Uh, sorry, this afternoon. Celia gets us underway. And it's another start for Italy. It's last game. Seven targets. Just talking internally before setting up again. And nerves could be key here for the Italians. China still have lots of that team from Rio around. Igonu gets to work. Gets to work. And having noticed how well, Igonu throughout this competition, she is young. But she is unbelievably focused. It's a good start from China. The middle in, the pass is perfect. Pichella chasing off the hands of Sia. She hasn't found her rhythm yet. Could really be a target. Was the target throughout the early stages of the opening game in round one. But now this is a different game, a different setting where pressure will rear its ugly head again. Passing exceptional from China. It's a great read though. Pichiela sees it. She's not watching the ball. She is watching the spiker. She drifts across and gets a great stop on the angle. In training yesterday, it was interesting to see Italy Confidence flowing here with Ugonu. 19 years old, and this is the biggest game of her career. What a start. Hand contact, not quite as strong. Ugonu just almost lazily raises a left arm to defend and a fierce right hand to attack. Wang Man Jay, the libero, celebrates. And then gets the thumbs up from Zhu Ting because Zhu Ting knows that she does not put that away without the defensive attributes of Elibero. This is going to be entertaining for sure. See out of system. Goni now rolls high. She stopped again. See it goes to the side. If you're watching, anything tight to the net, throw it to the sideline, keep it away from the center. See her serving. So really light serve to position one. Gonu. They're trying to attack over the setter's head. There is a slight mismatch, but Igonu makes great defense. Out of system, but Zhu Ting just hits off the body. She's too high through there. They're trying to get three in the block here, Italy, to try and cut off all the channels. But she will go over Bazzetti. Bazzetti got a hat-trick of blocks in this fixture earlier on in the competition. But there's no way she's getting her hands on that from Zhu. Another miss serve keeps Italy in control. I haven't kept a tally of the miss serves, but watching training from China yesterday, they served for the first 15 minutes of the session. And let me tell you, they were not soft serving. Italy went for a lighter approach, ball control, pipe attacking. So let's see if they use that on the slide though. Great middle work on them, short the ball, but one on one on the outside. Danesi is having to keep an eye on Zhu Ting on the pipe. That's why she's late getting to the outside. Pazzetti the target. Lucy Pazzetti, who had problematic times passing throughout the last two games will gain so much confidence 
with her doing it all herself. Smooth in the pass, slow but fast and dynamic in the approach. To the outside. Good blocking. And Ugonu. It's just an absolute weapon. Seems splits in the block. Open invitation. For Ugonu to put Italy in charge. 8-5, first technical. Any sign of nerves? No way. Another four going into this. Italy play so fast. Mazzanti is working his magic. Since the VNL, they've taken 0.3 of a second off of the attack. So they're attacking 0.3 of a second faster than they were at the VNL. And they're strong. And in that first game between these two teams, China's middle couldn't keep up. De Janeiro just sitting, patient, absorbing. Agoni looking to score again. She's had such a good start. Su Ting trying to muscle the ball away from the body, wrist away, missing the sideline. Challenge from Jenny Nanking. The match up here for China isn't favorable. Because of the speed that Italy can play. That touch, maybe off the left arm of Pazzetti is what they're looking for, but no way. Melinov, who alongside Pazzetti and Di Janeiro control this team and they let the physical weapons fire around them. The slide attack is once again kryptonite for Italy. It's a late run, really late run. Great disguise. Running on the quick attack, pulling Bazzetti in and then Bazzetti just watches. Maybe has to pay for a ticket to, to do that. It's a great run from China. Bazzetti said him out. Recovered. Feels like China at home at times. See you wiping the line, sorry, covering the line, taking the wipe. Di Gennaro just staying still and covering. Ugoni looking to tip away. The set's slightly too tight, but there's a chance on the outside. Di Gennaro just steps in and absorbs another one. And Ugoni goes high. Persistence paying dividends here for Italy. Ting defending very high. We saw some unbelievable scenes in the match between these last time. Rossetti has had, I would say, two quiet games for her in the last two, but today she has come out fired up. I must think for some of these players, the more experienced ones, Di now, 31, Pazzetti, 29, you would think this is their chance to win a World Championships. Off 
the body, Chang Ning, Di Janeiro and Bazzetti are really working hard. And it's fast from Di Janeiro again. And this is where Italy really prosper. Even when the ball's off the net, they play fast to the outside. So they can just hit through the drifting blockers. This is where the matchup is key. It didn't work against Japan because the middle, middles of Japan are so much faster, but here they can cause trouble. China, the best team in the world. Wider set. Danese, Ugonu. They're in a different postcode there. Perfect from Miriam Sia. China go to the middle. And then Italy push back with exactly the same play. Drifting around Yan Ni. Can't get her hands in front of it. She's too late. Far too late for the Nazi. Serving to one, trying to keep the ball away from Zuti. Keep an eye on that throughout this game. They're serving to wherever Zhu Ting is far enough away. But that's a phenomenal set. Ding Sia. Take a bow. Ripping it from outside of court to find the middle in that tempo. Pidinari stepping in, playing quick to see you. Italy really missed Miriam Sia against Serbia because Petrini is great, but Petrini is 18 years old. Sia gives them more points at four, for sure. Su Ting, the service target this time, trying to get her out of system, out of sync, but Su Ting is the queen of this game. So high. Cricciella staying. Managing to close out with Malinov, but Malinov leaves a small gap. Malinov trying to find Christina Cricciella under audacious pressure. It's really the Hollywood set from here. It's too tight. Su Ting will eat you for breakfast if you set tight. Tritiella left with no, well, no option but to try and use the block. See, perfect passing. They're trying to serve her. DIY, wrist away, working off the body. Bezetti on the wider pipe. Ugonu on the inside. Ten trying to open up the court she had two on her she knows the situation she worked away from the body some game this as things see just opens up everything great wit it's good passing from china it makes you wonder how they're four behind See her yet again. She's getting everything. Ugonu! The pass is fine from C. It's not perfect, but it gives Melina the chance to run an offense at a tempo. Richiella staying fast in front. And somehow Ugonu squeezed it through. They knew it was coming, China. But Ugonu, too hot to trot early on.
Service pressure, very deep again. It's tied to Dings here. They go back on the slide attack. They'll be looking forward to when the setter can get on the back court because she can have three options. Sloppy from Celia, punished by China. Soon as she hits anywhere away from her body line, favorite to score there. See her passing well. You can see what they're trying to do, China. And you can see how much it means to Miriam Sia. Vazetti will get the plaudits here, but Miriam Sia has contributed to that one-on-one. -on -one. The ball goes to two and a half. The ball's pinged darts to the outside to Bazzetti. She's one on one. She will score. Wide, fast sets, opening up the gaps. Italy's speed dominating again. Canby comes in. Front court receiver out. The Zuting is in. Di Gennaro just Digging away, she just sits off the outside of the block and she stays relaxed and still for Zhu Ting. And they buy their time through the rally. Bezzetti, Di Gennaro, and Miriam Sia are leading the path here. China, psychologically not in this game at the moment. Back to the front court receiver. They're doing it all the time because then Ding Sear is left with absolutely nothing. And Italy take another one. For as long as they can make Zhang Chang Ning out of system as a front court receiver with a front court setter, Ding Sear hasn't got any options. Italy flourishing. And there you go. Off she goes. Chang Ning replaced by. It's a great replacement, the Ying Ying. The left-hander about to spike the ball. It's too tight, far too tight. Agonu, do not even give her a sniff. She just knows it's tight, she just grabs the ball. But the Ying Ying, the best outside hitter in Chinese volleyball last year, just 17 years old, top scorer and best outside. Frantic all the time from China. Li Ying Ying struggling. Ogonu has got the better of her. Now Bazzetti so still. She doesn't want to block. She tried that earlier. She sits off to take out one chance for China. Bazzetti's defense. Really good. The two days of rest would have done Italy a world of good. Gianaro trying to force it in from the left side. Bazzetti having to roll angle, but the defense is a little bit out. But Ben Zier again. Under pressure, can find the middle from anywhere. The touch is a little bit tense, ball pings off the arms, but that's where China are very strong through the middle. A bit slow getting out at times, but attacking wise, very high. Bazzetti passing perfectly. Denise! Steep and gnarly. You're not digging that one, China. Yan Ni drifting out to the line. Denacy snapping back angle. 80 kilometers an hour. It's not about that. Once again, out of system. Li Ying Ying shut down. She has another chance here. Two blocks in a row. Denacy comes into this game. Best blocker in the competition. This is why. Gets across. Great finish into the face. Li Ying Ying wants to work through the body. She's got two in her way. 
22-14. Shock? No. Surprise? Maybe. but doesn't get round the ball. Two will do it for the Italians who have just been a different class so far. Celia's passing. Ugonu, it's too tight. She's looking for hands or trying to work the ball around the block. Denise again, look at her head, she's just always looking at the player. It's tight from China, second chance for the outside, Sia has been called. China are just working their way back slowly for them. I think it's about gaining confidence for the rest of this match. Pazetti replaced. Pazetti replaced. They won 10 of 13. Perfect again from C. And Malinov goes tight, but actually it works out. And C. goes over the goes tight, but actually it works out. And C. goes over the top. Let's see the caustic down here. And I've got some ill with Malinov. Macy serving for the first set. Meng Jay puts it in really well. Fired. And then Sia, who's laughing. You always say, if you're going to fire the middle from off the net, make sure the ball's going over if you miss. One saved. Bazzetti puts Italy in system. And now Italy have rocked China and have them against the ropes after this first set. Consistency from Pazzetti and Tia, aggression from the middles and Ugonu. What a start from the Italians. The Olympic gold medalists, well, struggling. They passed so nicely. They really have. And it just means Malinov has got every option available most of the time. If she wants to run Ugonu on the inside pipe, Bazzetti on the, uh, sorry, on the inside 10 from the back. One of the most respected people in Chinese sporting history. Sixth in the top Chinese athletes of the year. 1996 FIVB Coach of the Year. China 
Well, they've set up the same as they finished. So Li Yingying has come in. Italy. Well, there's no changes from them and absolutely no surprises because they've started really well. Passes a little bit off the net. It goes to Zhu Ting, who's been quiet. That's an understatement. See it. Spats it out the back. Italy's service pressure, but it's the speed that's caused them problems, and they can run their game when they're in system. Remember against Japan, if anybody was watching, the ball was off the net more. Di Gennaro, they're being aggressive. There's potentially a handover. It certainly is. This will be a much better view. You cannot block the centre. Zhu Ting has started feasting far too early there. Italy have not played well. It's because Bezzetti and Di Gennaro have not passed perfectly. And when they're passing off the net, they play slower. Ugoni fires high, almost like a tomahawk defense out the back. Shaping up. Good defense from Molina. See your love sitting out of the system. They're still and they're patient when they cover. What a rally this one is. Both teams do team. There we go, China. Two team. Makes the kill from the left side, but the defense from China leads them to glory. Don't see a serving. Question marks throughout this competition on the opposite from China as well. Ugonu fires through Zhu Ting, and this is not the Zhu Ting that we know who control it, well, controls games on a regular basis. Sorry, it wasn't even through her, sorry, to Zhu Ting. Difficult from the commentary position at times to see where the ball goes through, but Agonu! Is that just a sign that it's going to be Italy's evening? Just fires into the top of the net. There's no passing that. You have to feel for China there, you really do. They will feel justice has been done though. This is China who know how to win games. Even when everything's against them. Remember, they won the Olympics in Rio having come fourth in the pool. Smuggling away is Criciella. The pass from Italy is just the trigger of everything. Molinov is having a great game, but it's because of Bassetti, Di Gennaro, and Sia passing dimes, smuggling to the line, Cricciella. Well read again. Another opportunity, Agonu! That's my bad. Things here never stops smiling. Zhu Ting as focused as they come for China. Pazetti slightly out of system now, but they love going higher. Picciella. How many times is she going to score out here? Back through the blockers, and it's because of Melina setting so accurate and precise it gives options to the setter to hit one way or another what a treat
serving short to Di De Nero, who then puts the ball in perfectly. It's a great block, but that's almost what they set up for China. Makes it easy to block when the ball's coming in from short. Tough for the opposite, uh, sorry, the middle. To get their approach to Li Ying Ying, 18 years of age, and making such a difference. Another game changer against the USA, came on and took the game away from them. Stays high, stays deep. There's no digging that one. And you have to feel for the USA. They didn't get through Paul H. They just go three, two, but back to this one. When Italy don't quite play at 100%, China just go through the roof. Back to two. The blocker has done a great job getting out there. The middle blocker, Young Sing Yu. The pass is still strong though from Italy all of the time. Ukwonu fires the line. Fires it steep. Horrible work from Ukwonu. Who yet again is proving herself on the world stage. Somewhere. Difficult to see from where I am base. In or out. China are going crazy. The people in front of me are just standing up left, right, and centre, making it difficult to see. China have been silent. Once again, it just feels that China has some home advantage here. This is big news in China. The media are here in many. Drifting in the block, but they get a touch on it, Italy. Chance to counter audacious attempts to try and chop it back. Just a one point game. This is so much better though from China. No one any closer to predicting the future of this competition. On form, you would have potentially have tipped China, but Italy was so good round one or round two and the bits of round three that the two day rest looks like it served them wonderfully well here but who knows oh it's an ace from China a difference has been made for sure Since the youngster Li Yunying has come in, she serves from high. She snaps fast with her serve. Not two in a row, no, just one. Patient as ever, Lan Ping, a real respected coach in the game. De Janeiro, easy for her. Ugonu stays high, smooth and accurate. Once again, it's proof that it's not about bouncing the ball, going over the middle blocker. There's Ding Sia blocking in the middle, keeping Sinyu 
on the outside trying to block Sia, but it means they're short in the middle. But not on the wings. Bazzetti on the floor. That quick ball again, shaped back to the cross court, losing Danesi. And that's a key thing to do today. Danesi has been phenomenal. All competition within the block. Moving her around is key. Di Gennaro passing off. But see it. Oh, China! Ju Ting made a dig. Thought her team were going to set back to her, so she went. She's got a scoop. She gets up. She's ready to go. Everyone else just looks at each other. No one wants to set it. Better passing from China. Back to Zhu Ting. Chases on for Malinov, but Zhu Ting. And what makes Zhu Ting Zhu Ting is just how she uses. She can see the court, but she hits off the body. She opens up so nice, so her elbow comes back. Her chest opens up, and she works through the body really nicely. Really good work from Zhu Ting. Tension building as China grow. See you now vulnerable in the pass at times. Di Gennaro, that's not working anymore. Playing quick. China's middles are getting faster. Where they were slow in the first set. The middle blockers are starting to release earlier. Get across. And get two in the block. No splits, no seams. Just kill blocks. Straight down the line. Miriam Sia passing off the net yet again. Di Gennaro goes quick, but unfortunately it's too quick, so it has to be lifted. Chance through the pipe, Lee Ying Ying. Well done, Wang Men J. Su Ting! Hey, let's have a game of standing shot. Su Ting, you don't even have to jump. Just a little pop. So high, down ball from Italy. They're made to pay for not blocking Zhu Ting, even if she's not jumping. Zhu Ting is a threat at 198. <laughs> Ting starting to dominate again. And that means Italy have to push back. It's better from Sia Ugoni does push back. Long arms that just casually stay loose and cannon through the ball. Good feet, great angles. Really great angles. Interesting. Really quite interesting when Zhu Ting is starting to prosper. That's Ugonu's serve starts to go. See, it makes great shape with the shoulders. Ugonu does find the line this time. See, it ends up out of the picture. But she just focuses on the pass. It's good enough to keep Igonu in the game. That's a great swing. But shoulders round the ball. Almost drops the right shoulder there, see ya, to get the angle on the pass round. Pazzetti! Not the biggest. But she's like a jack in the box. Jumps up, presses late, forces back into the angle. Swing blocking from Pazzetti. Italy are back in this set.
De Janeiro just takes a step. Pozzetti now has to tip, but she tips at the setter, so they're out of system. There's a chance in transition. Whoa! China. It's huge from Yan Ni, and she just lets the eyes linger under the net to Agonu. They know she loves to chop back. They're waiting for her. Caracciali comes in for Sia just for passing duties. It's a great pass. Welcome to the game, Caracciali. Ying Ying guard from Di Gennaro, who's had a wonderful game again this evening. And we're not even, well, maybe even a fifth of the way through. Agoni this time goes to the line and challenges the outside hand of the block. She goes chasing after it, Lili Li Ying Ying, doesn't she? This time China out of system. What an angle. Lee has just used her foot speed. Zhu Ting does well to even get her arms on that, but the speed of the feet to get to the right hand side of the ball, to get the ball into the hitting window on point. No one said that this game would be uneventful. And if you did, you are wrong. The semi-final of the FIBB World Championship. Games do not come much bigger than this. De Janeiro putting the ball on point once again. Ugonu. And when I watch Ugonu, you can just see she opens up the whole court. She can go to the line. She loves to chop it back sharp. There aren't too many in the world. Slow chase is definitely one from the Netherlands. Boscovich is phenomenal as a left-hander playing that side. But she's one of a few who gone in. What a reply. Sing Yi dances off. Denise yet again is watching for Zhu Ting. And she has to. Pound for pound, Zhu Ting is rated as the best player in the world. But it gives the freedom for Denise to work the ball reverse and run the game as she would like. Pierciali out of system. Di Gennaro puts it into a good spot. Denise covers. She's going to have to cover again. Agoni has just sent that into orbit. Someone's going to go and get that. First time blocked out. Di Gennaro is underneath the ball. Risk goes underneath it. That's still travelling. Ok, così loro si preoccupano solo della cannella. Ci siamo? Vai, via!
Donu is the threat here. And throughout the opening stages, she's had it all her own way, but at 19 years old, pressure can creep up very quickly. She has to just forget about that one. Error for Charlie Lee, and see it comes in. Trying to bring a little bit of energy here. Intensity is communication and body language together. Pass from Meng Jay is perfect. They're so good on the slide. China running the reverse beat. So well. They really are. The middles are high. The Janeiro is balanced and waiting. Just wait now. They're probably going to look to go to the pipe in just a moment and bring the middle back into the game. See ya. That's almost like a little bit of a roundhouse. Just a rotation of the shoulder and a high snap. Look how much work the arms are doing at the bottom of the jump to propel herself up. The lean off with recoveries and things see. This is a different game in the second set. They're passing stronger, but the variation of the slide attack causing issues for Italy. One goes wider, one stays shorter. Danesi is such a good blocker, as is Cricciella. They have to run the ball around, and they have to use varied attacks to get through them. See you off the net now. Italy are really swimming against the tide. Di Gennaro covering strongly. Fast to the stick, maybe good enough to win. No! Zhu Ting rolling high, Bazzetti doing a good job as well. See you. And the dynamic that Miriam Sia gives this team is impressive because it takes pressure off of Igoni. Against Serbia, Igoni had all the pressure because they were struggling to score on the outside. Pazzetti just plays the perfect understudy to those two. Looking for a touch now. Ball goes to the outside. Of a challenge. It's a game of the highest importance. Challenge. 
is behaving like she's in a library. Very impressive from her. Quiet as a mouse. Back to business, 1820. This could just swing it either way. De Janeiro reads the game nicely. She just sits inside. See ya. And just like the previous game, where the Serbian, Mihailovic, took the pressure off of Boscovic, Sia is doing exactly the same here. She really is. Mihailovic was so good in that previous game against the Netherlands. Uh, disrupting China. A gone is fires up the cylinder again the chance for china it's a great side out from Xi Ting, who shows a bit of suave and a little bit of joy with that they know where she's going but Zeti is sat there waiting for it like a bus doesn't mean she's going to catch it Back to see uh, the passing slightly laying down, but Picciella on the slide. Pazzetti, free ball. This is a big chance. Only to be taken by China. Yan Ni tries to hit the overpass. Picciella on the dive. But then when it comes to the blocking, this is where they've improved, China. Gong Sing Yu. The opposite doing a wonderful job. It's going to be tough now for Italy. Zia goes back to the line. She scores this time. The way that Di Janeiro sets out of system. World class. Slow touches. Fast pace. But also watching that is Miriam Sia. Ugonu, they're coming back again, Italy. They're playing consistently, that's for sure. Ugonu! China is going to have to put their crash helmets on here. Ugonu is starting to go again, silencing the crowd. Opens up the court, hits line and chops so well. Zhu Ting! Anything you can do, everybody, I can do it better. Both big players this time on a slightly more reverse pipe, trying to drag the block around, open up gaps off the body. Zhu Ting, world class. We have seen so much. Gu Mingyun coming in. And what an entrance! That's exactly what you need from your service substitution in a world championship semi final. Moving from left to right away from Miriam Sia. No one wants to get their platform on it. First set point. Two aces. Surely not! What a service substitution! Ku Minyan comes in with two blasts from the baseline to really bully Italy and go 1 1. What a fun game! China blocking. Better. They seem re 
revitalised after a slow start. Miriam Sia hasn't quite passed as well as the first set, but so many highlights to take forward. Myself needing a rest here. Italy, Melino, Fazzetti, Venezi, Ugonu, Sia, Picciella starting. Sia the target again, and we're really going to see from Miriam Sia how she can stay relaxed and focused on her pass throughout this stage. Di Janeiro bumping to the middle. We saw this in training yesterday. It worked slightly better than that, though. Di Janeiro again, this time quick to the outside. Su Ting! But Miriam Sia stays calm and calculated at the net. Di Janeiro setting faster than almost any other team in this competition, even with their setter setting the ball. Passing from China, and this has been the difference. They've passed so much better into position three. Then the middle can just release. And Denise, Tricciella, look, they're just, Tricciella that time, not getting high, not getting square off to the net, drifting, losing their height. China are really doing well here. And in the block. This will all be about her vision. Melina trying to use the middle, but it's been spotted by Yang Ni. It's always going to be difficult for Gricciella to bring the ball back to one when she's facing so far towards position five. Great read with an ace as well. Young. Yu makes one drop. Pazetti. Shoulders cannot get underneath it. See a passing over. Zhu Ting. You do not need to ask Zhu twice to put this away. Christmas has come early. Early on in this third. service pressure for China is really strong. The ball is starting to fit around a lot more, but at high speeds where it's dropping all the time, but Zeki is world class with service reception, as is Di Janeiro, and Sia is very strong as well. But all of them Struggling with this service reception. See you putting it perfectly in Ugonu. And if you were looking at this swing right here, in the men's game, you would say Wallace is exactly the same. What an angle. There's not many people that can hit the ball that steep from that height in the world. Second set, struggling with rhythm of her serve. In clear, serving straight down the line. Difficult for Italy. Of course, it's a line block because they're serving the front court receiver. And then he's gone in from the inside, 10. Such a threat. We have to talk about this because Cricciella is running on the slide. There's only two front court options, but when you've got Ugonu going through the centre like that, it's going to hold the middle blocker again and hopefully take the pressure off of Bazzetti for Italy. The passing yet again perfect. And Zhu Ting 
will have a field day when China are passing this way. So good. Ding Sia is playing really well as well. Ficciella. Both teams playing such a high level. And that was the review from everyone after Sapporo, sorry. Was that the game between these two teams, they're siding out for fun. Remember, last time that Italy won this competition, 2002, they beat China 3-1. But the last World Championships, well, China have only won one head-to-head -head out of the last five between these two teams and that one game was the world championship semi-final four years ago 3-1 paintbrush through the middle but it's the purpose it doesn't have to be technically perfect to score Yang Ni splits the blockers the wider set looking to penetrate that gap right there Malinov is in this match too De Janeiro stepping in, setting darts to the outside. Bozzetti out of system, might just struggle a little bit more than Sia. Melinov goes back to Bozzetti. And you see this from the smaller players. Japan do it a lot too. The first time they just recycle the ball, they do something smart with it, and then they build through the rally because they just create pressure the first time of asking. Perfect again. They're faultless. If we need to push the service pressure, China are delightful at the moment with the way that they're seeing it. But that's, if you study the two serves, that from Molino compared to what some of the Chinese players are throwing out from the baseline isn't as tough. It really isn't. spikers with her. The way that she's working the middle is really good. Pazzetti from the right side. Seems to hang in the air for hours on end. Well, China doing the same thing as they've done quite a lot. Ugonu, beasting off the top. Maybe there's been a change from Mazanti just shifting Mazzetti further round when the setter is on the front court from China. Wang Meng Jay, it's phenomenal, but that's a little bit out of her grasp. Twice. They have made a change. They're making more digs with Pazzetti, sweeping around more on an angle. High and tight, they have to work the block. Neck touch from Lee Ying Ying. Problem solving, paying off.
Timeouts from China. What we haven't seen as much of as the first set is Italy trying to get three in the block. Both teams serving the front court receiver a large proportion of time. And then looking to take the line away from them. It's difficult when you bring the front court receiver inside for them to chase out and hit sharp angles. So you can almost let them have that if they hit it because it's very difficult. Volleyball game of speed, distance, and time. Again, back to the outside. Lee Ying Ying, Di Janeiro, they're out of system. You'd expect Italy to score again here, sharpness. But they're so patient. Gong Sing Yu. Li Ying Ying out the back. It's really high both times for Li Ying Ying. And there's a left hander playing on that left side. It's far easier to play a flat set, but you can choose to take early or late on the wider pipe of Su Ting. Bazzetti is perfectly positioned. And Sia can counter with a big, big crushing. Right jab, straight to the face of China. See ya. Stays high, works around the block, opens up nicely. But Bazzetti has made a wonderful read when the ball's gone to Zhu Ting there. This time wide. And where China were really flowing, which was on the slide attack, snapping back a couple of different angles through the block, sharp. Italy have really made a few changes that stop that from China. No surprises that Chen Chang Lei has come in. Played so well in the previous game against the Netherlands. Pizzetti. Feels like she should have got that one. Six's job is to sit in between. Feels like she should have got that one. Six's job is to sit in between the gaps in the block. Block is really still those gaps because you don't want to rely on the defense really if you can because they play great defense. But Six's job is to sit in the middle. Key moments. Remember, this is the second game of the day. There's a rotation fault. You have to stay in your order, China. It looks as if Yang Sing Yu is the problem. And maybe the backcourt setter. Difficult to tell at game speed, but that's really simple stuff now that's disrupting China. Danese flipping it out to Igonu. Bouncing around but a double touch against Igonu. But they might challenge this Italy because it's come well it's definitely not a block touch is it? So it is a double touch. She didn't know much about it. When China are on top, their serve is unreceivable. But as soon as they're feeling the pressure, they really lose consistency. Ugonu has lose consistency. Ugonu hasn't got her jump serve going all night long. It's lucky for that other areas are flourishing really. Ugonu has been a threat spiking though and blocking. But see it. Has really been the attacking threat this evening. Off the net from Bazzetti. See ya finds a way through again. Whatever you throw in her way, she will just punch right through it. Fired up. Italy lead at the technical timeout by five.
Rio de Janeiro, setting great speeds, to still get splits in the block. Remember, look at that. Paul Harvey goes out of the picture. It's flat, and they know the purpose of the play, attack the splits in the block. The Zanti has worked so hard on running this offense quicker. It didn't help against Japan because their middle blockers are so quick. Zhu Ting busting shapes. But it works here because China are slower than Japan in the center. Their middle blockers are not as quick getting out. reverse you can see it comes on to play at position one Zhu Ting three in on Zhu Ting they want to cut off all of her angles because they know how well she hits off the body they go back to Zhu she goes to the line really good from Zhu Ting the first player the Chinese player to be the leading scorer in the FIVB World Club Championships and also the first Chinese MVP of that competition 2017. She's the youngest player in competition 2017. She's the youngest player to have been transferred out of China. But it's a boy who they will this with them. Gonu versus Zhu Ting battle. Intriguing. Hawkeye, this is a big one. In by a whisker. A good challenge. Robust and smooth, powerful swing from Ugoni. Trichiella, fast passing. Knows it's a big point, and that challenge has cost China maybe some concentration. Danesi and Trichiella throwing again. Big hugs all round. They're so young, the middle two, but so mature. Front receivers said yet again from the right side. Fumbling from the lean off. It was a good swing from Gong Xinyu. Out, facing out towards the back left of the court. She really would have had to turn the fight forward with her hand. Oh, here we go. Super sub from the second set. Jumps in to serve a few more whips. Bazzetti is a good serve out of system Italy. Back to the line of Gonu. It's really good from Hu Mingyun. The substitution of Gonu playing a bit of defense now. Molina from the front court goes back to Gonu. What a dig that is. It won't stay in. But the reaction from Ding Fear is really strong. Agonu going through the ball. Her body weight is her power. Her arm is just really her steering wheel. The quicker the arm, the faster the contact. Zhu Ting the target. 
really good from them here. The further that ball travels, the less chance you have of getting dropped through the middle, looking for a touch. If they're a touch, they're short. The referee has given it as well. Challenge from the ever calm, ever green. Thank you. Another big challenge, isn't it? Let's be honest. Hawkeye now well established in this game. It saves so many arguments. It gives us the facts. But right now, China have their backs up against the wall. No touch. No arguments from Paola Rabboni. Wing Yun throwing a few tactics out from the sideline, trying to give everything she can. Bazzetti passing perfectly. It's a great play. When the ball is served to one, trying to get the ball into position three is everything. It doesn't quite get there, but it's good enough for Molino to have every option open. If you can pass for a little bit more to three, that opens up every player, opens up the net completely. Molina from the back court. Difficult to block a left-hander on that side, for sure. Agoni, at times, has been told off. She's got really long arms, Agoni, so it makes it difficult for her in the blocking to make the correct shape at times. Out of system, good serving from China. It goes up again. Can you stop that? Can you actually? Do you get three in the block? But it's been Sia, so you potentially would rather have her playing defense. They're sitting around trying to defend the sharp one. But do you need to get three in the block there? a game of just a silly high level. It really is. Suiting off the body through the gap. She goes both ways through and off the body. A lot of mileage left in this game. See ya. Almost with a spatch. You'd think Spatch is when it comes out of the hand a little bit funky, but she knows what she's doing there. She's one on one. She's slightly having to lean in the air. So she takes pace off the ball because she's so high. She can just plant it. Well, coach, Olympic silver with the US at Beijing 2008, gold at Rio with China 2016. The daughter actually went to Stanford University. She was the first ever female to win gold as a player and a coach. So people like herself and Karch Karai are just legends of the game, really. Karch Karai, the first ever player to win gold. And Beach Anindor, see ya. You just cannot ignore her. But the speed is everything from Italy. Look at the pace. She's not hitting from her highest point, but they're not playing a game to do that. And then from the baseline, it's taken a while for Ugonu to fire up with her serve, but when she does, China, they're struggling.
gone. He's serving to go 2-1. It's another race. Two in a row from the powerful and feared Paolo Rugani. And just as China were growing, Italy have upped their game again. 93, almost 94 kilometers an hour. But in the sea, they can't react fast enough. Gone is just an absolute threat. Back to position one, keeping the ball away from Zhu Ting in this rotation. De Janeiro. So many teams do not dig that off the body. Swing from Zhu Ting. And not only does De Janeiro dig that from Zhu Ting, Ogonu somehow caught underneath it, trying to take the angle away. She's so high, she just snaps one straight back. Impressive. It really is impressive. Back to position one because Zhu Ting's at four. Slide attack effective again. Good service pressure. And good defense to back it up. Chance in transition to Ting. Ugonu has her number. She really does at the moment. Outperforming. Zhu Ting Malinov is just covering the tip. She does a good job of it. Ugonu maybe doesn't have Zhu Ting's number for very long. It's a monster block. And now there's a bit of pressure on Zhu Ting. Three in the block because they have to. We mentioned it in the previous set. They have to stop Igonu chopping the ball back so sharply. The only way they can maybe do that is to get another pair of hands at the net. De Janeiro to the left. That's a weak spot for Italy. Falling backwards, no stability. No angle. Passing high off the net, chance for Ugonu. See ya. Stops. And Sing Yu. This is some rally. Zhu Ting firing high and sharp. Ugonu. Out at this time. Just to give you some perspective, every time China win a point, everyone's on their feet. Sets well inside from Molino. Trying to get three in the block again to change the. Trying to get three in the block again to change the. Gonu faltering at times. The defense from China really, really strong. Yun Ting Yu. The starters. The starters. The six. Can't really that there. De Janeiro fixing that platform to the left side. And look at the difference it makes. Just passing in system. Gives options, gives better. Gives options, gives better court vision for the spiker. See if we get over the top. Good passing. Zhu Ting out of system. She's in well too, too early. Her body weight going back way after she tipped that ball. And Igonu will just play with ease. Italy will play with ease. 
as soon as you give them a ball with no pressure on it. They can pass into good areas. Everything's easy. Great timeout early on from Mazanti. It's really put the brakes on China. Puzzle hit. An AC not in the team to play defense. But would expect herself to do slightly better than that. Step to the right, her weight's going the wrong way. on this one interesting time because interesting time because Italy really do the deep they're out out of perspective but you have to give full on admiration to Italy and the way that they've played this game feels like China's house passing great and what feels like China's house passing great good job attacking popping the ball into good zones passing key for both teams Trichiella trying to block one there because that's how China have rolled throughout this game in that rotation running wider hitting through the gaps Igonu just makes it look so easy, really does. Inside 10 and she's always gonna go back there because the block is drifting out to try and get on her. It's a great, great option to cut back and avoid the block. Here making the odds small mistake. This replay of four years ago. This replay of four years ago is giving us everything we ever wanted. See now passing to three. The game is open. They're just sitting on my busy team. Hanging with the spike Igoni firing through but it's great vision and it's a good watch from the Chinese blockers two in a row but Cricciella is always drifting off the right foot and her arm coming through to the left side but it means that the natural angle if she gets blocked is back out of court the blocker has to work so hard to not only get to not only get out Chang in there but also press back in Cricciella serving really strong taking the front court receiver out then making a great pancake defense it's a great watch all options available and then they go through the hands first technical timeout china still in charge just Going to be a competitive league 
that one this year. Agoni is stuck. Zhu Ting proving again that she's not all about scoring. She can defend too, but... Italy this time, power through Agoni. Just loading, just gradually going onto the right foot and absorbing the ball. The tip is sneaky, but it'll do. Discipline. And it's a game of inches. Those small things, Melino's defense, where so many others would falter. Staying still and really keeping her arms well out for a long time. But then it's a get out of jail free cup, wiping off the outside hand of Zhu Ting. Ugonu just lingers her look on Zhu Ting for a while. That's close. has backed her young players from day one going through the competitions. Competitors. And they're coming back again. See you. From at the Janeiro, it's almost easier to pass when the ball's away from the body. So you can fix your arms. When it's right at you, you have no space in between your armpits. It's difficult to create an angle. Better. Balls to the left. See ya. People will be talking about Ugonu, but without Sia doing this sort of damage, Ugonu is not as effective. Fast plays yet again. Drifting blocks off the hands. Easy in theory. Not touch. score out there and the opposite from China is really potentially a weaker spot in their team they don't have an Agonu that's so high and serves like that that can make so many blocks Chase is on that's just incredible from Zhu Ting tracking out waiting patiently it's out of system so the ball's high she has to be patient, waiting patiently. It's out of system, so the ball's high. She has to be patient to still go through. Get on the way up at the highest point. Out of system, both teams now. Maybe some tiredness. But just as Su Ting does, when they're out of system, she gives China an out. When they're out of system, she gives China an outlet. And then Igonu does the same. Great decision making. The blocks a little late. Balls. Beat the left. Two in the deck. And out of system. Without Zhu Ting, they have to play high. Two blockers up. Penetrating fiercely. Bazzetti with a real quick work of the wrists into the middle of the court. 
Time out, China. Time out, China. They're up against it again. The next 10 minutes, crucial for this game. Italy are playing with a real stern backbone here. Not so much on that rotation, but... general every time that China start to prosper they start to come back Italy they just push through again see ya off the net it's too quick there's no middle Bazzetti goes off the reactions then see ya I think it is it's good enough and China rise again problems here Italy can't lose Di Gennaro. Incredible defense reactions. Ding Sia, that one is all for you. Di Gennaro passing, stays focused really well. Molino. And when you have two front court spikers and you're trying to split the net, the second touch is one way you can hold the middle blocker. But the reactions and the vision, everything strong from Yun Sing Yu. Pressure back on from China. Would we have predicted anything else? No. Pictures tell you the emotional roller coaster that we are on right now. Nobody wants to get off. Back to business in what we spoke about just a moment ago as a really crucial 10 minutes so far it's China who have prospered through that time Ugoni. I mean how do you stop it put your answers on a postcard and send them they're trying to block the line away by the looks of it because otherwise five would not be sat so high up the court Serving away from the outside again. Cricciella takes a big, big blow. I just get her hands in front of her face though. Second opportunity. Sharp snapping. China driving again here. Zhu Ting, three on her from Italy as we've seen. Taking the bullet is Cricciella. But really, from gone, you that's a great swing De Gennaro passing the ball too far to the left Ugoni snaps it back to the right challenge potentially Ugoni hits away so well there the block drifts towards position one because that's where the high percentage swing is well, she actually finds the gap scoring machine here. Way out of system. And Jay jumps in. Chipping away is Zhu Ting, but out of system, she can't put it away. Close to the net from De Janeiro. She goes there again, but it's a better set. 
and it means that Ugoni can really open up on the second ball. The speed from China is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Three balls punished. The middles go with the middles. There's no block for Zhu Ting. She will take full control of this game if you let her Italy. Zetti passing well, it's position one again, trying to keep the ball away from Ugoni. That's all they're trying to do. As Ugoni's on the front court, the AC2. Broken swing. This is far from over. It looked as if China had this in the back. Just a moment to go, but errors creeping in at crucial times. Locked up from Denesi, travelling across the net well. Ugoni! And from a four-point lead, this is just turning around. Malinov is finding her rhythm in her setting. She just sits it right the way across Ugoni, and she can go wherever she likes. Perfect passing. Di Janeiro reads that like an absolute pamphlet. The play goes to the middle, and as soon as it goes to the middle, Di Janeiro just sits in, makes a read inside the court. Ugonu is unstoppable at this moment in time. And as Zhu Ting was running away with it a moment ago, Ugonu, again, is proving to be one of the best in the world. between the top teams at this competition. The power on both flanks. Yes, they have a superstar opposite. The Macy, superstar middle. Best blocker in the competition goes to town. And this time it's Chinatown on the Olympic gold medalist. Great closure, great finish. Good reply. This has everything. Drifting blocks, crafting the way through. The speed, so good. Out of system, they go high. The blockers are doing a good job. Zhu Ting's then very interested here on Ugonu, but she can't get near her. Mazanti. Fist clenching. Di Janeiro back to target. Still steers the ball in. And you just feel if... If they do win this, they're two points up at the key time. We're in the 20s. China, you have to keep an eye on your first touch. It can't get sloppy now. Don seeing you. Italy are getting closer to a world championship final. With an ace as well. What a time from the AC. Smiles from the China have lost their rhythm in their pass. Denesi serving again. This set has turned around so quickly. Zhu Ting on the inside finds the gap. And if you were to ask me what I thought the difference was here, it's that Italy have Sia on one flank, Igonu on the other. China haven't got that strength 
on the left and the right side. But there's still a long way to go in this game. See you now off the net, but they can hit their way out of system. It's a really big set that goes out the back. Challenge requested from Italy. Potentially there, the ball goes to position two, when maybe all they had to do, Italy, was give it to Sia. She gets wider in her approach, she can count an angle. This time, no touch, certainly the decision. We are back to one. Put your seatbelts on. This emotional roller coaster is about to hit its scariest point. Ding Sia serving straight on Pazzetti. It's not a time to lose the pass. Sia! You have no right at this time of a World Championship final to hit those angles. Fast plays, snapping across the body. She opens up so well. It's a thrash. But that's the biggest point of the game so far. Out of system as well. Passing from both teams needs to stabilise. It hasn't. Trying to go high. Three in the block. Two teams. Big game player. Big, big point. Finds a solution. Inside set over the top of Malinov. There's a mismatch just due to the height. Some people in the stadium can't watch. Perfect passing. Di Gennaro and Bazzetti have given stability to Italy this evening. But China just pushed back. This time from the right side. Not from Zhu Ting. Seeing Gu hits an audacious angle. And we are tied at 23 all. Time out Italy as well. Ball travels across her, snaps it back on a sharp angle. Money making from China. serving. Big, big occasion. Sia has been bullied from the baseline, but Molino keeps it alive. It's on who? Fires long. And from a position of glory, Italy are throwing it away. It was all smiles a moment ago. But now, China are pushing back. Team serving the perfect person under pressure to serve us into a fifth. No, Agonu, 19 years old, but has the maturity of someone so much older, far more experienced. It's Su Ting versus Agonu again. See you with the serve. Pass is so tight, confusion everywhere. Holding on tight, both teams. Sia makes the dig, the ball's still in play. Second chance, then Sia goes to the point. It's a great watch, but it's a miraculous recovery. And the ball outside goes long. Trinciella has made a magnificent block here, but how has that stayed alive? Meng Jay. And to the outside, that's how games are won and lost. You have to take your chances. 
first match point for Italy. See you again serving. Then Jay with the pass to the middle. Di Gennaro makes the dig. Running the middle at key times. Really good setting. We're back to 25 all. And the highlight package of this game could be one hour long this evening. The service substitution that came on in the second and stole it for China is back in again. Q with the serve. Di Gennaro putting it into a good spot. Again, high. Is there a football? That's what they're looking for, I think. The point goes to Igon. He stays high, aggressive and smooth. Come of age again this evening, Igonu. 19. Second match point for Italy to qualify for their second ever World Championship final. Zhu Ting passes straight. A chance for the block. But she stays high. With three in the block, you don't have many options. But it's a great swing from Li Ying Ying. Keeps China alive. Pushing for their sixth World Championship final. They're running out of chances. But the longer they stay in this game, the more chance they have. See, uh, passes leaking the ball. Gonu getting everything. And that's why. Chance now in transition. It's a free ball. Gonu again. Running out of gas. China have turned this one around. Malino potentially getting two one dimensional. Everybody knows where that ball's going to go. China's blockers, they know. Another set point, it's turned around again. China to take this to a fifth. See you with good passing. They got it this time on the pipe. square. But how many balls in a row has a body been set? They might have to go to the middle in a moment or go to Bassetti. Do something different. But who knows? Serbia are watching on really closely. Great pass from China and it's a superb angle. Off one foot with the slide, taking on the middle block of the Don't penetrate. Third set point, Li Ying Ying has a great serve on it. Di Gennaro passes safely but nicely. The corner. If we feed her, she will score. No Bazzetti, no Danesi. Malinov is just giving it to Ugonu. Pazzetti serving to turn this one around. Back in sister China. Back to the pipe. Pazzetti with the dig. They have to play it. The ball is out, but what else do you do? It turns out to be a great decision. Off the body goes to Tim. She hits such a great angle. Inside, pushing the blocker. The ball was out, but Wang Meng Jay had to play it. If he needs it and the ball goes in, he'll have to live with it forever. We have had some epic matchups in this World Championship, but this is phenomenal. Tipping away is Sia. Opens up the game because Ugonu is now opposite. The defense from China, they are just fighting so hard. Sia trying to go through, pulling around again. Opportunity for Zeddy having to set. They go straight to Ugonu, three in the block, she goes high. Gon Sing Yu with the defense, Su Ting off the net. How many opportunities are both teams going to have to score and take this set? It's remarkable. Su Ting again, but there's three in the block, it works well. It chops up all the angles. And Miriam Zia puts that point to bed. 
one on one, you would back her 99% of the time. She looks line, she shapes angle. Pressure on the passing units of China. There's not much service pressure here. And you can see the serve is so light. It's so easy for the passing unit to get the ball in. It's a delightful slide play. But sometimes you have to serve to win and not not to lose. You do not wait for another player to make a mistake. Bazzetti on point again. We are deep in overtime. See you with the cannon. This is the chance, China. Su Ting against two. Has the ball bounced? Something it has. But Su Ting gets the chance off the net, but fires long. Challenge. It looks like it. This is unbelievable. It's the same as De Janeiro. China. Well, Young Sing Yu. A good start here is key for both teams. The defense strong again, but second chance for these to the way. Chang Chang Ying starts on the outside. Ding Xia, the setter. Zhu Ting, no surprise. Yang Ni starts again. Gong seeing you as well. So it's the same six. Both teams' first six is starting. Inside set, put away from Zhu Ting. And they just run a quick inside to just look for the inside hand of the blocker, catch them drifting, not penetrating. were there a moment ago. It's a dark place. It's a place you don't want to be. But Italy are there and they need to rise against it. To a good position, zooting on that inside set again, working Ugonu. As soon as you make Ugonu move and you make a step, you have a real opportunity to go off the hand. This time it's actually off Tricciella. It's a good start this from China. They seem very calm and very, very focused. Here, passing off the net, no middle attack. Ugonu is getting fed all the time, and off the net, she's not as effective. It's a bump from Zhu Ting. Chance with a free ball. Sia goes high, scoop to the left. Three in the block with Sia on Zhu Ting. Trying to think they've won the point, but Bazzetti just scoops an arm up. Sia with pace off the ball. Zhu Ting, surely no, they go opposite. Bazzetti just sweeping fast to the outside and that's where Italy are dangerous with pace they have to go back to playing this speed that throws the blockers from China out Everybody in the arena absolutely exhausted with watching this game.
everybody's eyes fixed on what's a fascinating encounter of Zhu Ting against Ugonu. China against Italy. Three in the block. It's key because China hit so many different angles. It's a great block. Out of system, it buys time to get three on Zhu Ting. See ya. Gets a big, big block at a key time. Su Ting now being the subject of every serve. Cricciella caught in absolutely no man's land, but there's a double touch against. Touch against. Molino. The referee for him. Molinsky gets a stare from Molino. We knew that we were going to be entertained. We have the Olympic champions up against the fastest growing team in the sport at the moment. But no one predicted this. See ya on the fade, makes a dick, and that's good enough. It's a game of all the small, it's a game of all the small things of seven people. All the little things that make a big difference. And that from Miriam Sia. Falling to the floor is good enough. Bazzetti swinging high off the block. Tricciella serving from five straight down the line. It's a magnificent serve. Three in again! The three in the block from Italy. Putting, putting China around the pressure. China passes on. Shooting gets a massive one to the head. She's doing everything right. She's standing beneath the box. She's waiting for it, but she just gets put on the floor. Denacy serving out the back this time. They need to serve stronger in this tiebreak. So if they serve out the back. It's not the end of the world. It's felt personally by myself that at key times in that final set that we just saw, they didn't serve tough enough under pressure. De Janeiro out of system, chance for Bezzetti, but she just rolls to one because there's no other option for her. And two, King! Comes back into the game, through the pipe, drifting block of Denise, who's worrying about the slide attack. You can't take your eye off of Zhu Ting, but that's credit to the earlier work of China. They've run the slide attack so often that they forgot about Zhu Ting on the pipe. That's great setting from Ding Sia. Sia, perfect passing, he's gone now. Running out of words to describe it all. Really, one of the finest battles here. Ugonu versus Zhu Ting. Canby comes in for Malinov. It's a service substitution that we've seen often. It's a good service. Tight. De Janeiro is really good reacting in there. Benazi puts another one on the scoreboard. Great service substitution. Change of ends. De Janeiro is just sat waiting on the side of the block. Dedication and discipline from Italy's finest libero. Power from one of their finest middles. There's a change of ends. Italy are in front, but it means absolutely nothing. Serves to one, keeping everything away from the outside. The monstrous. Clutchy play from Li Ying Ying. They're sure it's out here. We're going to know this before they are. No way. Pressure getting to Italy. Disrupting their eyesight. In. 
We saw it. They might live to regret that as we go to a really, really pressurised time in this game. Oh, who knows what's coming our way? Who knows? See ya. Almost sends that one into the stands. But Bassetti puts it on a plane for Udoli. And maybe that's the sign of pressure for Rigonu. She's completely mistimed it, missed the ball completely from a position where she would score seven or eight times from ten. Pazzetti with the set. Rigonu can't afford to go sleeping now. It goes back to her. She doesn't go sleeping. Because like all big players in the world, whenever you start to question them, they come back with a vengeance. They come back with a vengeance. And Jay, on point again, trying to protect the the angle because she's got so many balls back there. Zhu Ting, high to the line. They know that Italy, but they can't keep throwing chances away. China, they're battling in every respect. Su Ting, shut down. It's another mega rally here in Yokohama. And nobody can put the ball on the floor. Maybe exhaustion creeping in. Di Gennaro with the... Can put the ball on the floor. Maybe exhaustion creeping in. Di Gennaro with the most outrageous... Pick. Off the game so far, off the left-hand side. He pressed needed by everyone. But this time... But this time... Zanosi eventually... At this stage, to be that alert, Danesi puts it away through the gap. Time out. Time out for China. Everyone gasping for air. Whatever happens in this game, it will be remembered forever as an absolute classic. out of system. Back to a good Maybe a poor decision. But it's great blocking from Zhu Ting and China. Vazetti goes to a Difficult for a to turn and hit and keep height. There's no angles to hit apart from her body line. Zhu Ting parks so nicely. Two in a row. Time out. Get out. Ok, dai, via! The crowd here on the edge of their seats. It just goes one way and then another. This pressure, when we're in the tens in a tie break set, the difference between winning and losing is 
potentially your serving. But the passing from China is great. But sat really far in is Melin off for the corner who throws again. And this game is operating in two point swings. It really is. The tension is unbearable here. Zhu on the inside. Bezzetti makes the read for Zhu Ting. Great setting from Ding Sia. It's a quick set behind and it's a great combination to try and drag the middle blocker one way and then bring the ball inside to beat them on the left hand side. Them on the left hand side. Ding Sia serving. Has a very good left hand whip. See how consistent. They do go back to Miriam Sia. There's a real good opportunity here for China. Who'd they go to? Su Ting! Cook once again! Trinciana! And you go to team up out of system and make the block. Trinciana, another player, really coming through tonight for Italy. with the serve. She goes out the back, it's a good timeout from China. The pressure on the passing units of Italy is enormous. Bazzetti. Sia receiving the line. Di Gennaro cross court. Bazzetti. It's a great pass. Agonu. They will be looking for a touch. Nothing's been given. We go to overtime again. Sia says there is a touch. Challenge requested. Just when you think this game is not going to give us any more drama, it serves this one up. Was there a touch? Absolutely not. China are on their feet again here in the arena. Agoni with a missed serve and a missed spike, showing signs of inconsistencies at clutch time. The Chinese fans have deja vu. Zia in system. They need this. They go back to Agoni. She fires again. It always seems that she's firing when they need to get into match point position. But she needs to fire now for Italy. China have just been an absolute pleasure. And they will have their opportunities again, maybe in this game. Pass is perfect. Back to the outside. Leeing it. 18 years old and playing with so much aggression. She keeps China alive. Ugonu goes out the back. Limpian. 
is realising who she can trust under pressure this evening. It's an 18-year-old, Li Yingying, who Ming Ying to serve. A great server, and Italy know that. Ugonu, this time off the block, off the hands again. How many times will Ugonu get Italy into this position? But now, do they go to Bezzetti? Because on match point, cannot remember Italy going to Danesi or Pazzetti when they need one. The serve is great, but the pass is sublime. But Sia gets the diff. It's a free ball. Chance to set up, but really should be China's point. They go back to the opposite. Igoni with the dig. And they go back to Igoni through the 10. This time, they take it. It's taken so many opportunities. 3-1 in round one. 3-1 in a World Championship semi-final in 2002. Tonight it was closer. It was so, so close. But Italy qualified for their second World Championship ever by the narrowest of margins. 17-15 in the tie break. What a performance.